But it's hard for me not to scream to the world, I love you. Be because I, I do love you. Wow, uh, that came out wrong. I didn't mean to blurt it out like that. <laughs> but it is the way I feel about you. I love you, JR, and I, I hope you feel the same way about me. Oh, um, can, can you tell them like, to go away? Just let me find out who it is. And, and, and no one should see you here. So... What? You want me to hide? Yeah, yeah, just for a few minutes. Come on. JR. Just hang on. Be right there. of your time. You know, I have a meeting that's scheduled here. Well, I'll bet you do after what just happened. What are you talking about? Why, you haven't heard? The SEC has ruled. It's final, Junior. Cortland Electronics is back where it belongs. Attempted murder? No, they can't do that. Eliza filed charges about an hour ago. I am so sorry. This is this is ridiculous. You, you shot David to save Ryan's life. Kendall, everything is going to be all right. No, Mom, that, that, that's what you said before. You promised me nothing would happen to and you. And nothing will. No, these charges aren't going to stick. No, this is just Liza grabbing at headlines, that's all. No, Liza wants to punish all of us, and uh, all because of David. Kendall, calm down. No, David, who should be dead. Please, no, sweetheart. Mother, mother, no, I'm not going to let this happen. I won't. Oh, my God. Madison's pregnant? No. No, there has to be a mistake. Greenlee? Oh, hi. What? Is everything okay? Of course it is. Why would you ask me that? Because you look like you've just seen a ghost. There's got to be some, some way to make it easier for you just to stay in Pine Valley. Leaving is better for everybody. I, I, I don't care what's better for everyone. Do you think that it's better for you? At the moment, yes, I do. Have you considered that you have people here that you can count on? Ryan, I really don't want to talk about this but, with you. You want to fix this? You can't. It's too late, okay? I fell in love with a man who doesn't love me back. It's nobody's fault. It happens all the time. But I cannot keep running into you in Greenland and pretending like it doesn't hurt. So I will move on. I will survive. When did the decision come down? A couple hours ago. So what? You here to gloat? Well, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I didn't feel like celebrating Christmas early, but I'm not here to rub your nose in it. Then what is it that you want? I'm going to give you 24 hours to turn over all of Cortland Electronics' financial statements. And if you choose not to cooperate, I will get a court order. Yeah. Easy or hard? This is going to get done. Well, there's never been a decision that can't be overturned. <laughs> you are too much. You can hold on to that if it makes you feel good. You took your eye off the ball. You let yourself be led around by your, um, personal life. It's over, Junior. You lost. And I'm not just talking about Cortland Electronics. 
It's just a matter of time until you lose your daddy's business, too. Why are you not worried? Kento. Please, stop, Mom, okay? Do both of you stop patronizing me, okay? I know this is bad, so please don't sugarcoat it. Kendall, stop it. This is not helping either one of us. I know you just suffered a terrible loss. No, no, no. Do not drag Zach into this. Zach is very much a part of this. Zach is, is behind all of what you're feeling now. You just lost Zach, and you're afraid now you're going to lose me. And you're telling me that's not going to happen? I am desperately trying to tell you that you need to focus on what is really important here. Your children. I can think about more than one person at a time. But it's Christmas, honey. And I know you want to make this the best holiday possible for your boys. You know that Zach would want that. And I want that, too. So, Kendall, you have to promise me that that's what you're going to focus on. Because everything's going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. I don't know if that's possible, Mom. Well, Kendall, you have to try. How? How would you do it if you were in my shoes? If you just lost your husband, your rock, your best friend, how would you do it? I, I, I don't understand, okay? I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying, but you know what? You know what? You shouldn't be in jail for, for trying to kill David. You should be given a medal. Everything okay? Yeah, I just need to return this call. But you, is there a, like, a problem or...? If there is, I'll handle it. You can't help yourself, can you? Worried about what happens to you? No, I can't. I wish you would. It would make everything a lot easier. What is that? What does that mean? Nothing. Nothing. I gotta go. I was just uh, doing some hospital business. I co-own this place too. Remember? You just looked a little upset. I'm fine, really. It's nothing that I can't handle. So, what brings you down here? Late lunch with Angie, but I think I'm a little early. Huh. So, have you um talked to Madison since things blew up at Fusion? Yeah. Briefly. I was just wondering how she's doing. I mean, she seemed pretty upset. She's been through a lot lately. You don't have to dance around it. Randy, if she's upset because of me and Ryan, you can just say it. I don't want to be in the middle of this. She threw up. If something I'm doing is making her physically sick, I... I don't know what you want me to say. Okay, look. I know that Madison cared very much for Ryan and Emma. And he feels terrible about how it ended. And believe it or not, so do I. I'd like to help. Yeah, I don't really see that working out. Well, then maybe not me personally. I was just thinking that, you know, you or her friends could get her to, I don't know, go out. Maybe even fix her up with somebody. That's definitely not gonna happen. Why not? For one, we've already tried. It was one lunch, nothing happened, and then hasta la vista. So there hasn't been anyone else? Madison only had eyes for Ryan. Hey, Madison, it's Randy. I was supposed to have this late lunch with Angie, but she got caught with a patient. You want to meet at Crystal's later? Let me know. Bye. I didn't force her out of fusion, you know. She got all wrapped up in my stuff. Kendall got involved, we lost our tempers. No one's blaming you. That's not true, but thanks for saying it anyway. Maybe I should talk to her. Look, you can't make this go away. Sorry. But the only way that you can really help Madison is just to stay away from her. Hi, yeah, this is Ryan Lavery, and I'd like to try and set up an appointment for a friend, actually, who's got a uh, shoulder injury um, from the kind of shot. No, no, I, I, it's not a checkup. I, I, I want to make sure I do a complete physical here with, with your best team, okay? And make sure I cover the costs. Hey. Hey, what's, what's going on? I need to talk to you. Okay, but just give yourself some oxygen first, okay? I ran into Ryan again. Oh, 
I could have guessed. He found out that I'm leaving town. Uh-huh. He was genuinely upset and concerned. Guilty conscience? And I'm guessing you didn't tell him about your pregnancy. No. I just couldn't get the words to come out. Man, it would have been the perfect time. No, there is no perfect time to tell a guy who's in love with someone else. Hey, guess what? I'm pregnant. Woohoo! I'll leave out the woohoo. I'm such a mess, Ranky. Hey, me and Randy, we're gonna be there for you, whether you're in Pine Valley or not. But for the record, we're both hoping you stick around. Chandler Enterprises is just fine. Well, I wouldn't count on that. Losing Cortland is a big hit. Smart folks are gonna know that it's just the beginning. Smart folks? You wouldn't be one of those smart folks, would you? Investing in Chandler's European division. Are you kidding? I got out this morning. You should really pay more attention, Junior. Well, I'm guessing you've got some work to do, so I'll let you get on with it. You might want to check your phone. I'm sure you got a few messages waiting. Mom, I'm not going to let this go. Not a chance. Would you care to tell me what she meant by that? Kendall is so upset. Yes, I see that. Kendall's upset, you're upset, and oh, I got a feeling there's something going on here. You might try to take David's life again? What's going on is that Kendall... She just lost her husband, and it's the holidays, and it is just such a tough time. Yeah, I know all that. Now I've added to her burden. A burden which will soon be lifted, believe me. But I shot David, and I did it to save Ryan's life. And I promised Kendall that everything would be all right, Jack. And it has to be. Jack, it has to be. 